Now we talk about the new Torch EOS 10R. It comes in this beautiful box. We open it and what do we find? We find a very nice pouch that helps prevent uh, any damage to the exterior surface of the torch when traveling. It is divided in two sections. In the main section, we have the torch itself and a user manual. And on the other side, we have a small compartment for the charger because the R of 10R stands for rechargeable. Let's talk about the charger first. The connection is on the back of the torch. It doesn't require any uh, plug that has to be removed or opening or anything. You just have to ensure that after every dive you rinse it so the contacts are always nice and clean. On the charger we have this plug that just mates perfectly with the contacts. It will take about four hours to charge the battery from totally empty to completely full and this will give you two and a half hours of burn time with a constant output. This is what makes the torch very uh, special is that we have electronics inside that allow us to have constant light output throughout the life of the battery uh, instead of having a dwindling light over time. Now the torch is made out of anodized aluminum and it weighs about 700 grams, so a little bit over one and a half pounds, for a total length of 21 centimeters, which should be a little bit over eight inches. In water, this will be perfectly balanced. There is no lift and there is no sinking. We have a four centimeter, slightly under two inches diameter here, which allows you to hold it very comfortably with or without gloves. We have a safety latch on the uh, mechanism to turn it on so that it doesn't turn on inadvertently. The switch itself is a magnetic switch and you turn the light on by rotating this ring. A magnetic switch has the advantage that there's no perforation going through the housing and therefore one less chance of having a leak into the torch itself. The EOS 10R comes with a nice lanyard attached to the back of the light. One detail about the back of the light we have a overpressure relief valve because we have rechargeable batteries and this is a safety feature that you must have when you have rechargeable batteries. One detail about the charger, it is electronically controlled so that once uh, it realizes that the torch is completely charged, it cuts off power supply so that you don't uh, have any risk of overcharging or anything else that might happen. Um, one more detail about the process of charging the torch, four hours for a complete charge, but one hour will give you 48 minutes of burn time at maximum power. Now the choice of anodized aluminum makes uh, this a very rugged uh, torch with a maximum operating depth of 150 meters, pretty much 500 feet. So let's talk about the technical specs of this torch. We have a 9 watt high power mono LED with about 1100 lumen output. So we have a 12,500 lumen hotspot and we have a very wide crown for improved visibility on a night dive. Now light is identified by a color temperature which tells us what kind of color comes out of this light. And lately there has been the trend of using uh, high power LEDs that make a very whitish light or bluish light, which is uh, great for power consumption but not so great for really appreciating what is underwater. We have chosen a color temperature of 5000 Kelvin, which really brings out the colors in everything we have underwater. And this pretty much sums it up, uh, a great light with a lot of features from Morris. Thank you.